Hey guys, today I'm showing you how I do my everyday makeup. This is what I've been wearing to work and on the weekends for the past couple of months. So let's get started. I like to start off my makeup routine by using moisturizer. My skin is more on the drier side, so something a little bit more lightweight for the daytime like this moisturizer has been working really well. I find that it gives me that hydration but doesn't leave any sticky residue, so I'm able to layer the rest of my products on top. And on top of that, I'll use the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. This is so good for dry skin. I absolutely love it. It's even more hydrating than my moisturizer and I feel like it just lets my skin absorb as much hydration as possible so that my foundation and everything else can just sit on nice plump skin. For my foundation, I'm using the IT Cosmetic CC Cream and with this product, I find a little definitely goes a long way. It's definitely a buildable foundation, so I use about a quarter of a pump and that'll last me more than enough to just cover my entire face. I like to start from the middle of my face, so I concentrate on concealing those red pigmentation spots around on my cheeks and then I'll even the skin tone for the rest of my face and then if I've got stuff left over I will use it to conceal. For blush I'm using the Glossier Cloud Paint in Beam. It is the most beautiful flattering colour. I particularly just love the formulation and it just blends seamlessly into your skin. As you can see a little bit goes a long way and I just like to kind of pat it all across the apples of my cheeks and across the nose bridge just to give that sun kiss glow. It is my favourite part of the routine for sure. For my highlighter I'm using the Glossier Halo Scope in Quartz. I really love this highlighter. I feel like it really enhances that dewy aesthetic that we're trying to achieve in this look. I really don't skimp on this. I kind of apply it all across my cheekbones, down the nose bridge, on the brow bone and on my cupid's bow. I feel like the sun just hits it really nicely. Natural light adheres to it really well and it doesn't look like a highlighter is sitting on your face. It looks like your skin itself is just glowing. I like to set my makeup with a loose powder and I've been using this Too Faced powder for ages now just to finish it really and it hasn't finished yet so I'm just going to continue using it because it works like a charm. With my brows, I'm quite lenient with them so I just like to use a coloured brow gel to just fill them in and set them in place. So at the moment, the boy brow has been doing a great job. Before that, I found that the Benefit brow gel equivalent was also working really well too. So I like that. It's easy. For my eyeshadow, I like to use one colour and just swatch it all across my lids. I've been really loving the Glossier Lid Star in this rose gold shimmer shade. I really like just blending this cream shadow in with my fingers. It saves me so much more time than I would have used on regular eyeshadow. This is probably the oldest product I have in my makeup bag. This is a liquid eyeliner. I think it's by Dolly Wink, but the packaging has worn off. I really like to do a small little cat wing just to make my eyes look a bit bigger and kind of frame them to fit the rest of my face. And I realized that I can't do my eyeliner in a compact mirror. I need to use a large mirror for some reason. So I'm sure you'll be able to find a Alexa Chung inspired eyeliner tutorial somewhere on the internet but that is what I do and then for mascara I'm using the Kevin Aquan volume mascara I really like the formulation of this one because it's tubing so there's no black smudges underneath your eyes and the makeup removal process is really easy to finish the look I'm using the fresh lip balm this is a tinted one in the rosé shade just to give a little bit of colour, I don't really like to wear lipsticks if I can avoid it because with lip balm, with tinted lip balm, I can just reapply without using a mirror at my desk or when I'm on the go. So that's my everyday makeup. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And thank
thank you for watching.